Hi, I'm Paula Ward and this is Easy Knitting Design. This video is part one of knitting the body of the sweater. I'll show you how to design the sweater from the hem up to just before the armhole shaping starts. On my website, you'll find videos on taking measurements and swatching and stitch gauge. If you haven't watched those, you might want to now because we'll be using that information now and in upcoming videos. In part two of knitting the body, I'll actually demonstrate on Nikki's sweater. This sweater will be knit in the round, so we need to know two things. First, how many stitches to cast on around the bottom and how long to make the body. If we were to use abbreviations common in knitting patterns, we might write it this way. First, cast on some stitches on circular needles and join. Second, we would knit our rib pattern for a certain number of inches. Thirdly, we would switch to stockinette stitch for a total length, and by total length I mean from the hem up to the armhole, so this includes the ribbing, for a certain number of inches. We'll start by figuring out the number of stitches to cast on. That number right there. We'll begin by going to your measurement chart and looking at the bust measurement and the hip measurement. Now we will take the larger of these two measurements and to that we will add ease. Now ease is just extra width in the body of our sweater that we add for drape and appearance and ease of movement. On a standard sweater, ease is two to four inches. You will combine the larger of the bust or hip measurement and the ease, and you will get what we will call the chest measurement. Now, even if you're starting with your hip measurement and adding your ease, we're going to call it the chest measurement. Next, we'll convert this chest measurement, which is in inches, to number of stitches. And we'll do that by multiplying the chest measurement by our stitch gauge. Number of stitches equals length or width times stitch gauge. Our chest measurement will be in inches times stitches per inch, and that will give us stitches. Number of stitches to cast on. Now we want our number of cast on stitches to be an even number. In other words, divisible by two. That's because when we knit to the top of the sweater body, we are going to divide this circular body into even front and back sections. So we want an even number of stitches in the front and back, so we need our original cast on to be divisible by two. The last thing we need to consider in our number of cast on stitches is something called stitch repeat, which is simply the number of stitches in a pattern. For example, a knit two purl two rib is going to be a stitch repeat of four stitches. In order for our bottom ribbing to come out an even number of pattern repeats, our cast on needs to be divisible by the number of stitches in our ribbing stitch repeat. Now if you're using a knit one purl one rib, you don't need to worry about this because as you can see, this is a two stitch pattern repeat, and we've already got an even number on our cast on stitches. However, on Nikki's sweater, I'm using a knit two purl two rib. That's a four stitch pattern repeat, so I'll need my a number of cast on stitches to be divisible by four. The ribbing pattern and the length of the ribbing is up to you. It's whatever you want for your sweater. The last thing we want to figure out is the total length of our sweater body. We can take this right off our measurements chart. The total length of our sweater minus the length from the top neck to the underarm yarn gives us the length of our sweater body. In part two, I'll do the numbers for Nikki's sweater and I'll demonstrate knitting the sweater body.